Hello, and today I will be showing a basic tutorial explaining what Auto-Tune really is. Also, please note the fact that this is not about how to use Auto-Tune to sound cool or to get an effect. This is a tutorial on why Auto-Tune is overused and why it sounds the way it does. First and foremost, let me say that Auto-Tune is a pitch correction plugin. That is the original use. It was used to fix simple mistakes. For example, if a note sounds incorrect on a song. However, it has become world-renowned as an aesthetic effect used to stretch out notes or rather to over-exemplify certain words. This was actually a major flaw in the programming. I will show you in this brief tutorial with a simple effect and a little tweaking you could sound like T-Pain, Usher, or Kanye West. However, not due to being a good singer, but due to personification and intonation of your voice in combination with auto-tune. Here's a simple example. I will play the song OMG by Usher, and then I will compare it to the version I made and explain why the version he made, the original, was not very hard to duplicate to a point. I will never be able to have the same background music as he does, but the effect is still there, and that is the point of this tutorial. Okay, here is the original OMG by Usher. Oh my God. I did it again, so I'm gonna let go. Oh my baby, let me love you down. And here's the version I made. Oh my god, baby, let me love you down. There's so many ways to love you. I know you're probably thinking, well, that sounds nothing like the original. However, it does. In reality, the only difference is the way the effect is used, and I will explain. Okay, if you look on YouTube, basically people will tell you there are certain settings or presets for each particular song, for each rapper. That's not true. I, I've learned from from personal use that um, basically you need to tweak the settings to your voice and most importantly the key of your voice. If you're, if you're singing in a low key, you need to set auto-tune to the low male voice option and set the key to whatever best fits your range. It has to be something, for me, I am an E flat, uh, but for you it could be D, it could be F, I don't know. But let me explain. Okay, so basically I'm going to apply the effect and show you how it will sound different based on the key I use for my voice. Okay, here is example one. First, without auto-tune. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you join us, and the world will live as one. Now with the effect. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you join us, and the world will live as one. Note what a tremendous difference it makes. It sounds like I can actually sing. Yes, there is certain emphasis on certain notes, but it sounds a lot better. And now I'll compare how it would sound if it were out of key. You may say I'm a dreamer. But I'm not the only one. I hope someday you join us and the world will live as one. So that one sounded uh, kind of interesting, but obviously not in the correct key. So the point is, you can take any song, essentially, and use auto-tune to make it sound better. For example, here's another one. First, without the auto-tune... Life is a highway, I want to ride it all night long. If you're going my way, I'm going to drive it all night long. And then with the auto-tune. Life is a highway, I want to ride it all night long. If you're going my way, 
I'm going to drive it all night long. Or you can do what I did there and change the key to C. I was a D sharp, and I changed it to C and stretched my voice to make it sound good. Now, this won't always work. It really depends. And this is why, uh, once again, this leads me to my main point. Auto-tune is something which you can tweak to sound good, not something that will actually make you able to sing, because no one who uses auto-tune can actually sing. Unless, however, it's someone like Cher, who used it for an effect to, uh, to make a point. I'll give one more example as to how auto-tune can be used in a different way as an effect. It can be used while talking. It won't sound as good as it would while you're trying to sing, but I'll give you an example. Once again, first without the autotune. This is a test of the emergency broadcasting system in your area. If there had been an actual emergency, a message would have followed the alert tone. And now with autotune. This is a test of the emergency broadcasting system in your area. If there had been an actual emergency, a message would have followed the alert tone. Okay, that was a very bad example because it didn't sound like it was auto-tuned or anything or interesting at all. It just sounded like it was passed through a radio filter. Here's a good example, once again without the auto-tune. There once was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. The end. Now with the auto-tune. There once was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. The end. 